Oh God, it's so hot outside today. It's so worn out. My mind's very blank right now. But as I thought, where should I continue my studies? Sharif, Sharif, can I come in? Yeah, sure. Come inside. Hi. Why do you look so down for? Oh, I was just home from my extra lesson today, and I was very, very confused on which studies where I should go to because right now I'm thinking of going international, something that's very different. Wait, did you say that you want to go international? You mean studying abroad, right? Yeah. I know someone that will sort out all your problems today. Oh wait, really? Yes, really. His name is Kaika. Do you want to meet him? Oh yeah, sure. Um, uh, for uh one thing that I can do, can I uh also join him for my podcast? Sure, I will contact him right away. All right, thanks. Yes, no problem. <laughs> Hi. Hi! My name is Raisha Kalila Setiawan. You may call me Raisha for short. I'm from Dar es Salaam Junior High School and I'm currently in ninth grade. Hi, my name is Sheriff Afarda Hidayatullah. You can call me Sheriff for short. And I'm from Dar es Salaam Senior High and I'm currently in 10th grade. Okay, hi, I'm Muhammad Iftikar. People call me Iftikar. I study two years at Salt Tech University in Korea. Please watch our interesting podcast in Daryl TV on YouTube. Don't, Don't miss, miss it. it. So this is Kak Ikar that I told you before. Do you want to go and meet him? Oh, uh, hi Kak Ikar. My name is Sherpa Fanda. Okay, hi, my name is Ikar. I study two years in Seoul Tech in Korea. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, for today, for my t for my podcast, why did you s chose Seoul National University, and how did you apply? Okay, first, uh, I want to choose a more developed country the, than Indonesia, and my option is Korea and Japan. And I I love Korea because uh, our Independence Day is same, which is uh nine. 1945, we have same war with Japan, but the economic is really different with Indonesia. So I, I'm interested in how Korean people do that. Yeah. Okay. So more about how you were in Korea. How was the environment? Was it good or was it bad? Uh, I think it's a really good place to study. Especially I study in Seoul Tech, which is located in Seoul. Seoul is a really a beautiful country because you can uh, even in the city you can see like many mountains around you and then yeah. and then of, uh, also uh, if I need something for my study my professor and my university can provide me with which whatever I want for the study yeah oh so really cool. so like oh, for the applications like your yeah. uh, you know they always give you like you know the permission for all those devices is that actually normal yeah, it's normal because uh, our in Korea the country research budget for students is so high I think it's like three times compared to Indonesia so yeah you can ask anything you want to your professor and I also want to know that I, I know that people in Indonesia really like like k-pop and yeah. also yeah. Korean drama in general right and uh, if I told you about Korea what the first thing that pop in your mind well first, maybe you're Asian, okay right? Maybe for me, Korea is one of the most famous countries amongst all the teenagers these days, right? Because it's an iconic country with also its iconic cultures, like in music, lifestyle, fashion sense, as I'm a girl myself. And I think 70 until 80% everyone in Indonesia, especially teenagers, really live with the Korean culture without even realizing it. Like we mimic the habits and everything that Korean people do without even realizing. And when people try to deny it, mm -hmm. actually, they can't really do that because we're doing it without we're even realizing, right? right? And it's totally something that 
really goes all international, but in Indonesia and specifically, it's very something big. Ah, okay, yeah. Uh, I you mentioned also about the culture in Korea, right? Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah. Do you do you know, Sharif? Do you know something the culture about Korea in general or? Oh no, yeah. I don't really actually know much, but most of all, as I know that mostly in their uh, entertainments and also in their foods, yeah. yeah, I only know most of like you know, for example, for the food, tteokbokki mm -hmm. and uh, bibimbap, yes. and then kimbap, and yeah, but I don't really know much about the culture there, you know, like how what their tradition is and what they usually do. So it's like a lot more different in Indonesia. Okay, so. Korean culture is maybe not that uh, different with, with us because we we are still in Asia and yeah. and we have a lot of uh, close relationship. But the thing that I notice at there when I arrive there is uh, how they uh, are really patient. And if you go to a train station, for example, you have to wait for the line. Yeah. And you cannot you cannot like go just go throughout and then like push other people around. Yeah. yeah. And uh, can you tell me something about Korean culture? Because you watch a lot of drama, right? Yes, yeah. I do. Like when we say thank you and then we bow, it's uh, not yeah. like something that's very, um, something that we do in Indonesia, yeah. right? And I see a lot of people like also doing that. And when I notice it, they're like a fan of Korea. Uh, yes. And also when they celebrate their Independence Day, it's like, I don't really know much about that, but I'm just pretty sure that it's so different than to us. When we celebrate our Independence Day, we do like lots of games and uh, we also eat our iconic nasi tumpang. But uh, I'm pretty sure that in Korea, they also have their iconic meals, culinaries, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay uh, we all know that Korea have like interesting culture and also like it's good food and it's good music. Yeah. But one thing that people don't understand is Korea really developed country in terms of technology. Oh. Yeah. Because yeah, for for example, in ninety in nineteen ninety, they have this uh, phenomenal phenomenon called miracle of Han River. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's uh, economic growth that uh, that produce company like Samsung and also Hyundai. Which like us ha use it like a lot, right? The Samsung handphone, Android phone, and also Hyundai car is like everywhere here in so other country. Yeah. Actually, to be honest, actually, is it more better that the you know Korean technology? Because based on what I usually see in Japan, Japan to me it's like a lot more you know developed. Because when I saw Korean, they are like you know they don't really show much of their technology, but well, from Japan's uh, point of view, I usually see like they always have that, you know, four dimensional type of advertisement, mm -hmm. which I didn't actually see in Korea yet. So is it a lot more better? Uh, I think compared to Japan, because Japan is a more mature country. Yeah. And he, he dominate the world like for 100 years. Uh, I think Japan is more developed. But compared to Korea, which is just independence at 1945 yeah. i think it's a lot of more like rapid growth yeah, yeah. so uh, from those technology does anything have to do like you know from japan as like what i always see in the news mm. like they are all about you know artificial intelligence and they usually think of how to make some software or something from the computer science or, like you know they generate how they uh, do a specific task, for yeah. example. Okay, so uh, because you mentioned it, let's now talk about uh, the this podcast topic, which is AI. And I study AI in my uh, master studies for two years. Yes. And first, I want to ask to you guys that do you know like a little bit about AI or? Uh, well, I know some. Most of all, it's uh, because it says artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. It's most of all about computer science that most people make tasks for a specific uh, you know for a specific software which they always make their own language by itself and they can you know they can shut it down and they can just continue their process by in themselves okay well what do you know about ai English? i think he knows more than me but yeah. i think artificial intelligence is something that humans 
themselves develop to help us in our daily life. It's like digitally and it's like more practical basically. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I want to tell you more deep about AI. So <laughs> AI true is uh, made by human because mm -hmm. it's artificial. Yeah. And uh, why we call it intelligence because they can do the job without us telling them how to do it. Oh. So the difference between AI and robots, robots also do replace human, right? Yeah. But uh, currently robot like in factory or in uh, daily life is we tell them what to do. Yeah. So for example, if we want to clean the house, then we tell the robot to specifically to clean it. But with AI, we just told them you have to clean the house. We don't care you clean it with whatever method it is, but they will figure it out by themselves. Yeah, that's the difference, yes. So, uh, and in daily life, we can see a lot of example about AI. For yeah. example, if you guys open your phone, Mm -hmm. There's many things that already applied AI for that for that yeah. device. For example, if you guys, uh, if you have iPhone, you can call your Siri, yes. yeah. and he can listen to you like human, and then uh, give you a human-like response. Yeah. And then if you open like, for example, uh, sometimes you do you like e-commerce like Tokopedia or Shopee? Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, that right? that's shop a lot, right? Yeah, that's already yeah, common for us. Yes, like for example, you want to buy what? What's your hobby, Sherry? Oh, mm, what I usually buy is you know figurines and yeah, yeah most of all it's like that. Yeah, if you buy like Gundam figurine and yeah. then uh, Tokopedia will tell you another product that is similar to your interest, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And another example is like if you're watching Korean drama from Netflix, and then you watch like Descendant of the Sun, like yeah. a popular movie. And then the Netflix will recommend you another movie that's, that's similar, yeah, similar yes. to your interest. Yeah. So it's like the same genre. Yeah, so same it's genre. not actually the same type of plot. No. Yeah, it's exactly yes. the same yeah. genre only. Or from the same artists or the actors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. specifically it's like that. Yes. And also for uh, more help us in our work, have you heard like Tesla? Tesla yeah, Star, yeah. Uh, that, yeah, one, that yeah. one's already kind of popular. Yeah, can you tell me like a little bit things about Tesla? Well, for my understanding about mm -hmm. Tesla, it's like they uh, produce a car and that car can like go into specific addresses, specific places and you know, they have the precautions on their GPS mm -hmm. and they know specifically uh, where yeah. and when to stop in a traffic light, for example. Yeah, that's all I really know. Okay. Have, you, have you heard about Tesla, Richard? Yeah, my opinion is basically the same as him. It re really can take you anywhere you want with just like a s single press and you don't have to really do anything about it. Like, it will take you to everywhere you want. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Th that's true. And how they do that is they have this camera, camera mm -hmm. like in the side of their car. So this camera will take picture all the times. So mm -hmm. this, uh, the camera in the front and side will, have, will take a picture. And then they will know if there's a human or a car or a cat in front of you. So yeah, that, uh, they use AI to detect the human and also the cat and also the car. And so they have, they will have, uh, they will have, they will know how to stop and how to turn on the left, on the which road like that. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, actually, if this was, you know, this is based on my opinion. Mm -hmm. Like if this car was actually like you know really public, uh, publicized by you know the whole government, like if they allow this to this Tesla to continue their products, well, is it a lot more safer than us doing you know riding a car manually? Because usually people who ride cars often you know like what I usually hear because they get uh, you know what do you call it? They always drink. Mm -hmm. And then like, you know, they do drunk driving uh, yeah. and yeah, they have accidents most of all yeah. manually. But if we use AI like Tesla, like this, is it a lot more better? Okay, so AI, uh, like everything, is not perfect. It can make, uh, we call it error. So let's say you use the self-driving feature in the mm -hmm. car. Yeah. And then somehow the camera failed to detect human in front of it. And then we crashed to the, that human or that animals. Yeah. That, that can happen. But uh, how they do
do which one is better like human is better or the AI model is better is they calculate the victim or the accident within like for example a year for example a human usually have accident like 15 or 20 accident in a year using yeah. a car but with AI you can reduce that to like only five accident per year or like 10 accident per year which one is is more better than the whole the whole human use the car things yeah so oh some interesting topic that i usually watch like for example like the terminator for example that movie says that m the robots will take over the world and they have their own mindsets mm -hmm. on how to like you know destroy the whole citizens so is it really that the ai is actually dangerous for us is it another sign of how this terminator movie will start okay so yeah for every technology there's advantage and disadvantage yeah and for but uh doing the research myself i am sure that that kind of thing will not happen because we have total control with the program yeah. and then if we want to stop them we can just stop it so uh uh and also the other things that can disadvantage of the ai is it can make us lazy right yeah, it, yeah. It that's, that's another side effect our job as a human and yeah so there's also the white and black of everything so yeah so, i see yeah. but on how you do the research how is this study of yours? You know, like, I get you really curious whenever they talk about AI. So I just, like, do my studies myself. Well, I don't really have, you know, I don't have any lessons about AI. But I usually search them on Google. But how do you do these research, like, based on your studies? Okay, so in research, we usually do first uh, study, literate, literature study. Yes. We read a lot of paper, journal, conference by other people. And then we find a way to improve that that uh, technology. So yeah. that's we how how we develop the new research for that. Yeah, but yeah, I think we talk a lot about the AI and also Korea study in Korea and yeah. how it can provide us with advantages and also disadvantages. Yeah, yeah, I think I think it will it was a good talk and I hope it can help Sharif to to Stay go to continue your study and have a more clear explanation about that yeah, yeah. okay okay thank you Kaikar. and uh so here is enough for my podcast mm -hmm. and for the one who's listening and thank you for listening and enjoying our talk okay thank you Shari, thank you so much okay. Kaikar, for thank coming you, today okay bye guys bye